Welcome back to the channel. We are here to watch episode 8 of Time Bandits. We're still reviewing the show. I can't believe it. And that being said, episode 8 is home again. And after this episode, we only have two more to go. Thank God. I can't wait until it's finished, which should happen this week. And hopefully I'll be able to get to both reviews in this week and have it finished. And then, next week, the next thing comes out, doesn't it? Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Let me know down in the comments below if there is a show coming out that you would want me to watch, to review, and to suffer through. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So they can't seem to find the portal, yet yeah, every time he flips a part of the map, a portal opens and closes once he closes the... whatever. But they are talking about what to do when they meet themselves, or shouldn't they meet themselves? What would happen to them? Would they implode? Things like that. My dear little Kevin and Sauron. Really? That's what Widget said. Anyway, they found the portal, and it seems like they have 30 minutes to actually save their parents. This does not look like it's the right time. So apparently, future them opened up a portal to talk to current them to tell them to hurry up and help the kids because the kids went through the portal without them, and they're debating whether they should go after them or not. And they're like, you have to go fast. The kids are in danger, right? And then they talk about, okay, where am I? Because Bidelik is not there. Uh, what am I essential to this? Why am I, you know, how did I open up the portal? And shit like that. It's like, okay, they just literally opened up a second portal to tell you to go and help the kids. They need it fast. Everyone's dressed in retro. Maybe they might understand where they are. Maybe not. They realized it's not 30 minutes before their parents died, it's 30 years. So he met his, uh... Future? Past? Past dad? As a kid. Playing a Game Boy. <sighs> so... Let me preface this. Earlier, this... Guy? Girl? thing was turned around and you know with that hair they thought it was the demon huntress hunter now this person just came across the demon hunter huntress thing wanted to dance and yeah just uh, just uh, but seeing this it's like oh crap Nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety six. Wonder if there were that many trans about. So the little girl right there is their mom. So that must be her gran. And very awkward. So now I'm very extremely confused. We had the huntress in 1996, and now Huntress is in the Ice Age with the portal opening. So are we going to have two Huntresses? Hunters? Things? Yep, there are two of them now. Oh, while well, Saffron and her mom, future mom, past mom, six-year-old, are very awkward. Looks like they're having a lot of fun. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I see. There are two. Well, it seems like the demon found Kevin. And his past, future dad. And just decided to completely destroy everything. You know, while Kevin was having fun with his future, past dad, Saffron is kneeling in front of the six-year-old girl and apologizing for everything she did. So while the two... 
demons are like, who are you? Who are you? Bitterluck is like, come on, bring it on. And now he's getting beat up by both of them. Just a small interjection right here. It doesn't look like this episode is going to hold any, you know, historic significance that we can look into. Sadly, a, a second episode with that. Possibly. I wonder what the next two episodes are going to be like, but let's continue. So now the current them opened up the portal to pass them to let them know everything that they said before. Bidlick got away because the two demons started hugging. What? So they are talking about how they didn't give up on Susan until they gave up on Susan and that they don't know if someone can be saved like that. When all of a sudden, I, mean, I forgot to mention they went back into the Ice Age for some reason. I, I don't know why, but yes, that happened. And now the saber-toothed tiger, whatever it's supposed to be, showed up. Ah, uh, yes, I almost forgot. Cats are evil. Cats are tools of the demon. Well, of at least of the Dark One or whatever he's going by in this show. And he's talking through the cat who is, you know, just frozen, really. So they will probably get the proposition. So the evil one, the dark one, whatever he's going by, he wants the map. And he believes that Kevin is the leader of the Time Bandits. So the evil one has their parents and they are alive. I do want to say at this point that past young dad, they did an excellent job on that. I'm going to have to look into how they did that if, the, if that was just, you know, de-aging. Because it looked far better than any de-aging that we've seen. Especially if you look at Disney, who has tons of money throwing into shows and movies. This one was a hell of a lot better. It's about that demon since childhood. And as you know, I have training in hostage situations. Because when I was little, I was nearly kidnapped by that feral orphan girl. So we've been prepared. Sir, the demon is here. Please don't hurt us. We will meet all and any demands. We will comply with all orders and instructions. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nah. All right, so the evil one does want the map, and he said, if you ever want to see your parents again, bring me the map. Now they are discussing what it is, what to do, and they're basically just saying, and, 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 because they're saying it's pure evil, it's evil, it's bad. They can't go there, it's the time of legends. But at this point, if you've been watching these reviews, you know that actually... It is the, I don't even remember what his name is, Taika Waititi's character, who is supposedly the bad one because he wants to reset the world. Interesting. Seems like they actually did help the woolly rhino thing. Well, now they're looking into the map on how to get to the Dark One's place. All right, so there was nothing historical to take apart. Other than a few cringe moments with uh, the demon and the person who looked like the demon. I guess the episode was all right. And again, I want to make that point that the de-aging of the father looked really good. Like, I don't know how they did it. Let me know down in the comments below if you know how they did it. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this episode. You know, just let me know. Anyway, that being said, this week we should be getting the last two episodes of this show. I am so glad when it's over with. But let me know what you think of the show so far. Are you even interested in watching it? And as I said at the beginning, if there is a show that you want me to check out to review to suffer through, let me know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, whatever floats your boat. And hey, consider subscribing. And if you do that, 
hit the bell for notifications because that is the only way that YouTube knows that you are actually interested in seeing this content. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and until next time, take care.